The top story we begin with our crime tracker tonight. A teen is accused of doing the unthinkable. Baton Rouge police say a 17 year old is the trigger man in a shooting involving his own father. Now this happened in the Brookstown neighborhood. Our Anam Siddiqui spent the day talking to residents in that area and Anam, we report on shootings a lot, but hardly ever do they involve a father and son. Yeah, that's right, Renee, a true tragedy. This is the second deadly shooting on the same block within 24 hours. Residents say they need help from law enforcement and the community. Late Tuesday night, an elderly man was shot and killed on Haydell Avenue. Eight hours later, another deadly shooting one block away. A teenager allegedly pulling the trigger and killing his father on East Brookstown Drive. When someone is shooting, you don't know where that bullet may go. Miss Pearlie Clark lives a block away from the violence. She says most residents in the area have been there all their life. Now things are getting out of control. When I first moved here, they had a lot of police protection because they would be at the church all the time. Now we barely see any. Baton Rouge is ringing in the new year with a record breaking number of homicides. The East Baton Rouge corner reports a total of 167 homicides and counting. That's about 20% higher than last year's total. It's really tiring just seeing the same problems just happening over and you know it's not stopping. One local worker says he's witnessed shootings, thefts and even dead bodies at the doorsteps of his job. He says crime has escalated since the start of the pandemic. People get you know frustrated you know they're not going out and working like they should and I you know some people turn to doing things like that. In the new year, the Brookstown neighborhood can expect dozens of new surveillance cameras. Police say this initiative will help solve crimes faster and make people feel safer. Residents say they need more. Just more patrols, better working with the citizens, trying to get them to where they, you know, don't keep doing the same kind of things, you know. The teen suspect was taken into custody for his father's death. There are no updates for the shooting on Haydell Avenue. Police say if you see something, say something. Reporting live in studio, Anam Siddiqui, NBC Local 33 News. All right, Anam, thank you so much for that reporting.